あの人はそれで身持ちはいいのかいそう残念ながらどうして残念ながらなんだそれはあの女の定縮さが鉄塔鉄尾まやかしだからさ。Yusuke Kafuku is an actor and director of plays. His method for rehearsing is unique. He recites a character of a play while a tape of his wife is reading the rest. On top of following a perfect rhythm to match the recording, he does it while driving. His wife, Oto Kafuku, is a screenwriter for TV shows. She introduces the main character of her show to his husband. Unfortunately for Josuke, he's the same man she's having an affair with. <laughs> Upon finding out this information, the only logical conclusion is confrontation, right? But did Josuke know? If Josuke knew about her affair, why doesn't he speak up? Why doesn't he express his feelings to Otto? Kafuku-san He would rather keep living in pain with the person that he loves than cut her out completely out of his life because of the affairs she has been having. Josuke is at a crossroads. He does not want to end his relationship with Otto, but he can't help to feel anxious and nervous about it. The sensation intensifies when Otto asks. Nevertheless, time doesn't forgive, and his inability to take action and speak about his troubles come to bite him after finding Otto dead on the floor. The moment to talk and defuse the situation cannot happen now, and Josuke has many unanswered questions floating in his mind forever. Josuke will not express his feelings, but those come out through his craft, acting. The rehearsing he does in his car is a proxy for his internal thoughts. The car becomes a temple where Josuke expresses himself through the lines of his place. Coincidentally, the parts shown to the audience hit very close to the troubles of his own. The selected lines from the tapes are insights into Josuke's thoughts during the movie. The issue is that the only person that might give Josuke closure about his relationship with Otto is the one that his wife had an affair with, Koshi Takatsuki. For better or worse, he sees by a question of luck, an audition for a role in Josuke's upcoming play, and decides to try his luck. <laughs> And he gets into the selected few. Vanya, Takatsuki Koshi. Throughout the days of rehearsals, Josuke and Koshi have had conversations about Otto and themselves. Josuke learns about how Koshi felt about Otto and how jealously not only affected Josuke, and he can't help but to laugh about it. Death changes everything, so there is no point in fighting about a dead woman. However, because 
finally accepting Otto's death together can bring them to a better place. Koshi confessing to the infidelity brings good memories about Otto rather than animosity between them. Once the death of a loved one strikes, even bitter infidelity becomes tribal. Was the conclusion a result of my actions? Could I have done anything differently? The most painful moments are often imprinted in our minds forever, while the good memories fade away like the summer blues. Oh. <laughs>